Time now for the markets with Leighton. Leighton, you say ethanol, uh, American ethanol has claimed a record. That's right, Artis. Exports of U.S. made ethanol during November were the most for any month ever. That is our top story. Also had this week in the markets, estimates of lower cotton plantings in China boost the cotton market some. Exports continue to lag, though, for U.S. rice, while the supply situation in the beef sector may help cattle prices. We begin with a quick look back at November, a month when the U.S. ethanol industry set a record. 152.5 million gallons left the country, almost half of it bound for Brazil. The latest numbers also show that for the first 11 months of last year, exports topped 1 billion gallons. A spokesperson for the Renewable Fuels Association says American ethanol producers are the lowest cost provider of motor fuel today and have ample supplies available to help meet demand around the globe. News out of China early this week that that country's cotton acreage may decrease gave fiber prices a shot in the arm. Extension Ag economist John Michael Riley discussed the potential impact this development may have during a conversation with me Wednesday afternoon. Our starting point, though, was the January 12th crop numbers for cotton. John Michael, was the news for cotton in the latest USD reports much of a surprise? It doesn't really appear that way. A lot of what happened that day was a surprise in, the, in other markets and, and probably filtered over into so to, to what took place in the cotton market for the day. But the, the, the report was, was mostly uh, expected for the most part. The USDA did raise cotton ending stocks uh, from 3.5 million bales to 3.7 in the most recent report, largely due to a drop in exports, which is a phenomenon that's been taking place for the la last couple of months of 2011 as the U.S. dollar strengthened versus other currencies. We saw some, some exports start to drop off, <clears throat> um, and, and that, that took place in the cotton market as well. And, and as a result, you know, the, the, the higher ending stocks did put some pressure on the day, but for the most part, the, the pressure came from outside markets. All right, apparently there's uh, a chance exports may be picking up. Uh, there's news out of China that uh, has, has really lifted the market this week. Is that right? That is correct. China has, uh, has definitely come into the market. Uh, a couple of things taking place. First of all, their production last year, uh, they're, they're revising it up, um, the China statistics. But what's, what's really kind of helped the markets out is we, they're, they're making projections about 2012 plantings, and it's expected that, that those plantings in China are going to be down about 10.5%. Um, on the same day yesterday, uh, U.S. imports came in uh, lower or, they were reduced from 2010, and that really bolstered prices yesterday. Uh, so uh, some good news from the, from the global front uh, at, with respect to cotton in yesterday's reports. Because foreign sales have kind of been the, the uncertainty, right, as far as uh, mar this market in particular. It's, yeah. it's definitely been the, the silver lining in a, in a lot of, in, for the most part, for the past couple of years. It's starting to, to ease off a little bit due to some ec global economic concerns. But yesterday's news was a positive front on the, on the foreign sales uh, market. So, so what kind of signals is the market sending producers now as they, you know, talk about what they may or may not plant this spring? Well, we are seeing a reduction in, in competing uh, acres or in competing prices for, for acres. Uh, not, a, not a whole lot changed. Uh, cotton prices have increased, which should buy some acres, but it's all gonna, uh, it's all gonna see what happens as we move forward for the next couple of months. The rice sector may be wishing it could buy some acres for spring at midweek this week. Arkansas Farm Bureau Ag Economist noted price declines for rice after a price spike. Export sales of U.S. rice continue to lag well behind last year. Analysts say current price levels suggest that rice may lose acreage to corn and soybeans here in the Mid-South. Well, a trend we mentioned last week as far as ammonia prices continues to be apparent across the entire retail fertilizer market in general. Prices continue to slip according to DTN's retailer survey. Prices of seven of the eight major fertilizers edge lower for the seventh straight week. Well, before we move into the livestock markets, how about our trivia quiz for this week? Here's the question. How much of Mississippi's 2011 soybean crop will be exported? It's your choice, 23%, 47%, 69%, or 87%. You'll find out in only a couple more minutes. There seems to be optimism among many analysts here in the latter part of January as far as the future price picture for the Fed cattle market. Trader Elaine Cub told Market to Market's Mark Pearson recently that the Fed market is set up to run very possibly throughout the year of 2012.
Uh, this is the time frame where seasonally you would expect to see the market sort of fall back. But I think that $120 level on the futures board, I think, has been demonstrated that there's enough buying support to keep the market above that. And we always talk about the supply shortage of beef in the U.S. right now. The herd is very small, smaller than it's been since the 1970s. But what's been interesting recently is that it's not just the number of animals, it's the carcass weights that are oh, also yeah. coming in shorter than we would expect. And so that, that is also a very bullish supply argument to keep live cattle prices higher. At the top of the markets, we mentioned the explosive pace of ethanol exports. Well, U.S. meat exports also set records in the 11th month of last year. In November 2011, pork exports were up over 22 percent compared to the year before. U.S. beef shipments out of the country were 35 percent above November 2010. The U.S. Meat Export Federation says that when December results are in, U.S. beef export value will likely eclipse the $5 billion mark for the first time ever. In preparation for our feature story, let's conclude here with a look at the trivia answer. D is the correct answer for this quiz. 87% of Mississippi's soybean crop from 2011 will be exported. This according to the Mississippi Soybean Promotion Board.